Tired of playing the same sport with friends? Why not try rugby? As Tyler reports, it's a fast-growing sport that a lot of kids are getting a kick out of. Play Rugby USA is an after-school program founded by Mark Griffin. He's had an interesting career before starting the program. Yeah, it's been a bit of a muddle. Um, I, uh, I played semi-freshionally in England um, for a team over there until 1999 and then actually came over here with a bank um, at the time and uh, spent the last uh, seven or so years or the, the next seven or so years over here banking. In 2006, Mark decided to retire from banking. He started up the Play Rugby program full time to give kids in the U.S. an opportunity to play the game he loves so much. The number one thing is it's fun um, and I think uh, again, it's because it's new, it's a level playing field, so everybody has a place on the team. So it's fun and it's all inclusive. And I think they're the most important things. But those lead to uh, the kids really getting engaged in the programme and really, really working teamwork, discipline is a big part of rugby. For those of you unfamiliar with the rules of rugby, it's actually quite simple. Here's what you need to know. First, the rugby game is played on a field called a pitch with two H-shaped goalposts on opposite ends. The object of the game is to get the ball to your end zone and score a touchdown, or in rugby terms, a try. So far, pretty much like football. And just like football, the game begins with a kickoff. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Once the ball hits the ground, there's no stopping, not even when a player drops it. The ball can be passed, but only backward, or side to side. Once a player is tackled, they must release the ball. But don't worry, these kids are using flags instead of tackling. Safety safety's number one with anything when you're dealing with kids. We play with flags, and the flags are used so instead of tackling somebody, you just pull their flag and call flag, and that will stop the play. Like, you can't spin, you can't grab shirts, you, you, can't, you, can, you can't really dive, and the refs just try and keep it less intense than it should be. And don't think rugby is just a boys sport. They take advantage, because we're girls, they think we don't know how to play, but we do know how to play. She has never come home with a bruise or, you know, any complaints. She's actually called the Beast. <laughs> and she enjoyed the name for the sport. <laughs> In 2008, Play Rugby USA hosted New York's first ever Mayor's Cup tournament. It's a really historic uh, sort of moment, I think, in New York to have a citywide youth rugby tournament. It's the first one of those. It's the first Mayor's Cup, and all these kids here are making that happen today. Of course, there's nothing like the thrill of winning. Just ask Coach Grozov from PS192. This is excellent for the kids. It, it was, we, we had a long train ride over here. It took us about two hours to get here, so this, this, is, this is for them. It, it, they, it was great for them. Could rugby take off in America like soccer has? That's what Mark hopes. And that's where I think rugby wants to position itself as a participation sport. And if it can do what soccer did um, after the 94 World Cup and the growth in soccer, I think, I don't know what the percentage is, but there's a lot of kids now that start playing soccer at an early age. And that's what we'd like to